So Warthog Defense has been removed from YouTube. And uh, I saw this the other day. Somebody had contacted me and asked about it. So I put this on my YouTube channel. Um, said a viewer notified me about it. Warthog Defense removed. Anyone know anything about it? And it, it made me a little concerned because if they can do this to them, they can do this to the rest of us that are supporting Ukraine. So I, Warthog Defense, this is their Facebook um, channel. And they, yeah, they were out there saying the same kind of thing here, um, feeling angry. Uh, hi, guys. First of all, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. It means the world to me. YouTube rejected my appeal right away. Well, what was the crime that they committed? Well, apparently they were charged with impersonization, impersonization policy here. This is what YouTube says. Content intended to impersonate a person or channel is not allowed on YouTube. I don't know that they were impersonating anyone. YouTube also enforces trade, uh, trademark holder uh, rights when a channel or content on the channel causes confusion about the source of goods and services it advertises. It may not be allowed. So I'll show you, this is what impersonization actually looks like. So this guy here uh, is replying to one of my uh <laughs> this guy is saying I interrupt speakers all the time. Well, that's kind of what I do. I show you what's going on and I interrupt and provide analysis. But this person is impersonating me. Um, <clears throat> at Professor Gertis underscore Gertis uh, explains underscore. That's not me. And so this person is not me. And you can look at more about this channel and you'll see that this person just joined in December 2nd of 2023 in order to impersonate me and send people to a WhatsApp number. This is not me. And so he said, what is this about? It's a scammer. Okay. So that's the kind of thing that should happen here. Now, uh, again, this person was knocked off. I reached out to Warthog and said, Hey, if you want, I'll, I'm trying, I want to try to help you. We can come on and zoom. He didn't want to zoom. He wants to remain behind the scenes. And I get that. I don't mind showing my face, but some people do. Okay. So at any rate, I said, okay, let's work this out. This was in a, um, uh, Facebook message. I said, look, tell me the story. I'll read it for my audience. Don't say anything that you don't want me to tell my audience. And I'll just read it exactly as you see it here. So that's what we're going to do. He said this, my channel Warthog Defense has been around since 2016. Since the beginning, I have been making videos dealing with military topics. I write about current affairs, about military technology, strategy, and similar topics. When Russia's attack on Ukraine began in February 2022, I immediately started making daily videos about it. We're all in that same camp. I was doing leadership videos and I switched gears. Jake Bro was doing finance videos and he switched gears. Um, Johnny Pierce was doing videos about philosophy and he switched gears. Same with Vlad Vexler. Okay, uh, so I, I totally get that. I simply could not remain indifferent to such aggression by one sovereign state against another on European soils in the 21st century. I made three videos every day and so continuously from the first day of aggression until December 13th when my channel was deleted by YouTube. So what happened was YouTube has the power to say you're violating this power policy, you're deleted. Now, here's what's happening. In the meantime, the channel grew from 300,000 subscribers to 630,000 subscribers in two years. Dozens of people and organizations from Ukraine and the world joined it with support, but also with information and videos about what's happening in Ukraine. And again, they do military video kind of stuff. It's not my lane, but it was a useful channel. Warthog Defense became one of the largest pro-Ukrainian channels on the web. And if we talk about the information side of the war, then this channel was one of the biggest weapons of Ukrainians in defense against barbaric Russian aggression. Then on December 13th, I received the a famous email from YouTube informing me that my channel had been deleted because I was imitating someone. He wasn't imitating anyone at all. He was just, I mean, again, imitation is something like what I saw uh, on, on my channel where people were saying, like, trying to pretend to be Professor Gerdes explains, that's imitation. This was an imitation. Okay. Um, then on December 1st, I received Im imitating someone. I couldn't believe who can I imitate when my channel has existed since 2016 under the same name and there's no other brand, organization, or personality with that name. I immediately filed a complaint with YouTube, but then I experienced another juice. Now in the second email, they did not comment at all on the absurd claim that I am imitating someone, but they just decided to leave my channel deleted. But now with the reasoning that I am spreading misinformation.
Okay, so I don't know this for sure, but it sure seems like some Russian trollers were saying this guy's misinformation or he's imitating or whatever else in order to get YouTube to pull it. I think this is the kind of thing, like if you know folks in NAFO, they should be aware of this, share this information with them, share this video with them so they can see what is actually taking place. Because if they can silence this voice, they can silence other voices, and that would be terrible for Ukraine. And I still can't understand what kind of misinformation I'm spreading. Everyone who has watched my videos know that every video I post, I say exactly where and when it happens. I often indicate which units are participating in a video. I simply put as much information as possible to make the news accurate. So what is this misinformation? I just want to add that I was a certified author on YouTube. I had a badge on the channel. And does YouTube treat all channels the same, including those with 630,000 subscribers and bot channels that post nonsense? They didn't dignify me with a simple explanation of what misinformation I'm spreading. Okay, so that's really important, again, because if they can do this here, they can do this to the rest of us. And it's impossible not to talk about the political moment here. Until Russia chooses the means to win in Ukraine and thus win over the West, it pays propagandists in the West to spread their lies. Here, an American company shut down the biggest pro-Ukrainian channels, while American taxpayers pay billions to help Ukraine. Does anyone in the West not understand the power of propaganda today? Do they not know the war is won parallelly on the battlefield, but also in the hearts and the minds of the people? That's right. There's a hot war, an economic war, a political Political war, an information war, a cyber war, and it's all laid one on top of the other. How do they think they can win the war themselves and they destroy the support that they send, which they get for free? Now, I don't have any many options left but to pressure the team on Twitter because YouTube doesn't have any option to write them directly. Like, there's no way that he can appeal this. Uh, and let's hope that someone in that company will understand that they can't act like that at a time when the Third World War informally, it's happening in the world right now. Here you go, Darren. Thank you. And I will write you now for my personal channel to know with uh, who you're talking about. By the way, so he's, you know, making sure that he's uh, you know, offering that credibility to me so that because we're just messaging. We're not uh, like we've never met. We just messaged from his official account to my official account, that kind of thing. I asked, do me one favor, link the video I make reading this on your Facebook for credibility. Thanks. Said, sure, just send me the link. So if you go to his Facebook page, this is Warthog Defense, mm -hmm. you will see this very shortly that this video will be posted there as well so that you can see that I'm not just making stuff up. This is his account and you're seeing what's going on. Now, this is very troubling to me. I think that if YouTube can be persuaded to remove him because some people are complaining about it, like I just complained about this fella here that was uh, impersonating me and they're using that to get rid of him, I think that very bad things can happen to the rest of the pro-Ukraine YouTubers. And so we probably need your help in order to raise this awareness or let NAFO do what they're doing, or uh, if you have contacts at Google or YouTube, um, but this is a, a bad situation. All right, uh, please, 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 more than anything else, if you can share this video, I would appreciate it because this is really, really important. Thanks for your time and the likes and the shares and the subscribes. And thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.